introduce Dr. Goodars Denai, who is the Bernard Lown Associate Professor of Cardiovascular Health at the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health and Director of the Land Scholars Program. Thank you so much for your kind introduction. It's a great pleasure to be here today in this wonderful event to honor Dr. Lown. I first got to know him six years ago when I was asked to direct the Lown Scholars Program at the Harvard Chan School of Public Health. I would meet him almost every month uh, for two hours in his living room on his study, and we would discuss anything from art to literature, music, history, politics, but mostly health and healthcare. Dr. Lown started his career as a young cardiologist in the 50s, working with the internationally renowned Dr. Samuel Levine. He soon noticed a deadly interaction between digitalis, a heart failure drug, and the other drugs that were used at the time to treat heart failure. He also challenged the conventional wisdom of resting the heart after a heart attack by immobilizing patients for weeks, which he noticed would increase the risk of blood clots and mortality. When he invented the armchair treatment for heart attack, he was mocked by many of his colleagues but when they noticed that this led to 30% lower mortality, this became a standard treatment in many hospitals and eventually led to in the uh, establishment of coronary care units, which are now in many hospitals around the world. He continued his work by inventing the DC defibrillator, which is now used by many patients around the world and saving millions of lives, including his own life when he suffered an arrhythmia in 2013. In his book, The Last Art of Healing, he mentions many examples of how he saved a patient's lives and improved their well-being by listening attentively and in asking important questions. His devotion to helping others live healthy and happy lives was not limited to his own patients. He cared about the entire humanity. And in his long and productive life, he established many organizations to achieve that mission. These include the Lown Institute, Satellife, the Lown Scholars Program, the Right Care Alliance, and many, many others. In the middle of the Cold War, when the US was preparing uh, for defense in the event of a nuclear war by building bunkers, he felt a moral obligation to prevent nuclear war. Therefore, he organized physicians starting from his own living room and established effective organizations that are still fighting the nuclear war, including the two hosts of this meeting, IPPNW and GBPSR. I would like you to thank you for this event, to honor Dr. Lown, and for carrying on his legacy to prevent nuclear war and saving humanity. <laughs>